Hi guys, I'm Kelsey Bolin and welcome to a fun booty workout today. I know a lot of you get bored with just regular old squats, so I've put together a bunch of exercises today that are gonna work those glutes, get them on fire, but spice up your routine a little bit. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with curtsy with a kick out. So it's just a regular old curtsy, right? And then you're just gonna kick out. Curtsy, kick out. And we're gonna go for 25 on each side. So this is in pretty all encompassing. It engages your core, your glutes, your quads, everything. You ready? Okay, let's go. Start with the left leg back, slow, nice, and controlled. You don't have to go down too far. You definitely don't want to hit your knee on the ground, right? And make sure the knee of your right leg does not jut beyond your toe, okay? Safety first here. Be sure you keep breathing. I know it's tempting sometimes to hold our breaths. You should always breathe out when your muscles are contracting. That's why power lifters, you hear them breathe out really loud when they push that weight up. We've got five more to go on this leg, guys. You can do it. This is where the burn happens. Give me two more good ones. And let's switch it on over. Both my glutes are burning. <laughs> I think that works both of them. Okay, now we're gonna step back with the right leg. So same, same drill here, right? Curtsy and lift. Get a nice little rhythm going. Take it slow and steady. This engages your core a lot, as I said earlier, so. That's why it's better than just a regular old squat. <laughs> and again, on this side, Make sure that your knee is not jutting past your toe, okay? Keep that weight in your ankle of your left foot. Should be burning about now. Five more to go, guys, you can do it. This is where we're building that muscle and toning up. Give me one more good one. Great job. Okay, we're moving along to a single leg squat now. So, for you really advanced ladies and gents, you can just actually do a single leg with your leg up, right? Just squatting up. Or if you need a little balance support, you can just raise that heel. Okay, so we're gonna go for 15 on each leg. So let's just start off with the left leg. So hands right out in front of you. Narrow squat, so feet close together. And sit down like you're sitting in a chair, right? This is just here for balance, so don't put a lot of weight in it. The point is to get all of that weight in that back glute, okay? So let's power through 15 and we'll switch legs. Here we go. Again, go as low as you can and put your weight in your heel, your left heel. Breathe out on the way up. In on the way down, out on the way up. Five more guys. Give me two more good ones. Great. Switching it on over to the other side. Okay, so this time, naturally, you're gonna have your left heel raised since we just worked that leg. <laughs> so, 
hands out straight, weight in your ankle, weight in your foot, excuse me. And just look like you're sitting on in a chair for 15. Here we go. Doing good. Remember, breathe out on the way up. Nice, slow, and controlled. You got five more to go, guys. Back straight. Give me one more. Great job. Now I know I promised you no squats, but we're spicing it up a little bit, adding some more elements to just the regular old squat. So this next exercise, we're gonna do a sumo squat. So wide stance with your feet, right? Toes pointing out. Then you're just gonna squat and do a heel raise at the top, okay? And then back up. We're gonna go for 25 of those. You ready? Okay, let's go. It's kind of like a little combo move. Back straight, weight on your heels as always when you're squatting. And make these two separate movements. You're squatting, you're raising, down and up. Perfect. As always, breathing out on the way up when you are contracting those muscles. We're working those calves with those heel raises. Of course, as your cores get involved a little bit as well on this one, because when you raise those heels, your stability is challenged. Thanks for hanging with me today, guys. <laughs> we got five more. Good job, last one. Perfect. Now we're gonna do a side lunge with a heel touch. 20 on each side. So it's gonna be a little challenging, but totally worth it. So it's gonna look a little something like this. You're just gonna lunge to the side, right? And you're gonna come up, touch your heel. Get a nice little rhythm going, okay? Touching that heel forces you to get your obliques engaged. So another little combo move for you. Ready, let's go for 20 on our left, okay? Here we go. Get a little twist going so that you engage that oblique even more. Keep that right leg straight. Weight in the heel of your left foot as you lunge. Feeling the burn yet? <laughs> it's a little hamstring worker too. This We've got five more, you can do it. Two more and we're switching over. Great, let's go right on over to the other leg. No rest for the weary here. So you're gonna squat and tap. Get a little turn going. Slow and steady. Shoulders up and back. Chest open. And get low in that lunge. Out on the way up, guys. Four more. 
then we're moving on to the floor, so that'll be nice. Two more. And one more. Great job. If you've got a mat, get it. Or if you're at home and you want to just lay on your carpet, that works too. Okay, let me get my mat. Okay, so get your mat if you have one or lay on your carpet. Any soft surface will do. So I've got my mat right here. We've got four more exercises on the floor and then you can call it a day. So, should be really nice and warm by now. We're gonna move on into fire hydrants with a kick out. So I'm sure you're familiar with fire hydrants. Just get on all fours. Place your wrist directly over your shoulders, right? So you're just gonna raise that leg up into a fire hydrant and kick out in and down. We're gonna go for 25 on each leg, okay? All right, guys, <laughs> let's go. The key with this one is being slow and controlled. We don't wanna go like that, right? You wanna be slow and controlled so that you really work that glute. guys should be burning by now perfect over to the other side now we're gonna work, work that white glue right glue. <laughs> we don't want to outside it it's the same drill over here okay just make sure your back is flat your wrists are directly over your shoulders lift that leg out and kick and down, slow and steady and controlled. Let's go for 25. Make sure you're squeezing that glute at the top. That leg high. Give me three more. One more, you guys. Perfect. Now we're gonna do a little thing called rainbows around the world, okay? So you're gonna be on all fours again, or all threes, actually. And this time, let's, let's move on to our left glute because we've just worked that one. And it's pretty simple, right? Just Lift your leg up and over as far as you can, and then up and over as far as you can. And we're gonna go for 15 on each leg of these, okay? Your shoulders should be getting a good workout in by this point as well. So just tap and tap. Nice, slow, and steady. make defined movements here. You're almost there, guys. Give me two more. High and tap. 
perfect. Moving over the other leg. I'll just stay on this side. You can see me. So we're going to work the left glute now. So same drill. Just lift up, over and tap, and up and tap. Okay? Don't forget to breathe. Engage your core to keep that back flat. And come down slow. everywhere by now. Your glutes, abductors, adductors. Only two more exercises after this, so don't worry. You're almost there. that nice burn by now. Only five more to go. Actually four now. Give me two more good ones guys. One more. Perfect, great job. Okay, our next exercise is a plank with donkey kicks. Now, there are a couple modifications for this. So if it's too hard or too easy, you can adjust accordingly, okay? So this is how it's gonna go. You can plank, like so. It's okay to have your booty raised a little because you're just gonna donkey kick, right? Keep a bent knee and donkey kick. Let's do that for 20 on each leg, okay? So get into your plank position. Leg at a 90 degree angle. Other leg slightly bent. And donkey kick up. Good plank form. Make sure you're getting the full range of motion here. We got five more guys. Now we're just going to do the same thing on the left leg. You can also go down on your elbow if you want, okay? But we're trying to engage that core as much as we can. So it's best if you can plank. So here we go for 20 on the left leg. Same drill here, ankles directly over your shoulders. And donkey kick. Five more guys. Great job. Now you have made it to the very last exercise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bridge with a pull through. Okay, so it's probably new to most of you. It's pretty new to me actually as well. So since we just worked the left glute, we'll go ahead and move on to the right one. Start with that. Actually this way for you guys, just kidding. So lie down, bridge. And what you're gonna do is just kick out and pull through. Kick out and pull through, right? We're gonna need it for, let's say 20 on each leg. Sounds good to me. This is the last exercise, so you can do it. Give it all you got. So let's go up in the bridge position, right? Straight line from your knee all the way to your shoulders. Palms up for me so that those shoulders stay open. Then we're gonna kick out and thread through. Kick out, 
thread through. Get a nice rhythm going. Kick out and thread through as high as you can. Nice and slow. One more, you guys. Great. One more leg to go and you are all done. So I'll switch over here so you can see me. And we're just gonna do the same thing, right? Palms up, pelvis up. And then kick and pull through. Make sure you're keeping that pelvis up to engage your core. Five more. Great job. Awesome, you guys. I hope you got a great workout in with me today broke a little sweat, got those glutes burning. I wanna thank you guys for being so wonderful to me. You've been great at watching my videos and commenting and liking and everything. So I'm just really humbled and thankful for all of you guys. Please follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also subscribe to us, Jimra, if you're not already, and our sister channel, Jimra Plus. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.